In this presentation, we're going to introduce WinDebug commands. Commands are the most important aspect of WinDebug. So the commands are normally divided into three or four categories. First one and the most important is the native commands, which comes with the debugger engine, the core engine. It covers the major operations like breakpoint, read write from memory and registers. Next is the debugger meta commands. It's like configuration for the debugger or debugger settings. For example, simple path, reloading symbols, etc. Third category is extension commands. So you can extend the debugger you can write plugins for the debugger core engine and you can extend the functionality of the native commands all of them start with a bang or an exclamation mark you can create your own extensions there are APIs available to make debugger extensions another category is more or less like the meta commands but you can think of it like the keywords in the debugger script like dot for dot file dot continue so if you have a complicated logic to implement using debugger you can write pretty much a program to accomplish that so for that we have keywords for that programming language if you will so in debugger terminology it is called tokens there are a lot of commands available for WinDebug. There are thousands of commands. Mastering all will be quite difficult. As a matter of fact, in most cases, debugging is not about knowing all the commands, but about knowing the internal data structures and functions and relations between them. In your day-to-day -day life, you'll be using only a few commands or a handful of commands and you will be able to accomplish most of the task. So these are some of the list of commands which we use all the time. Probably I might have missed a couple of them. I'm not going to explain any of these commands as of now because I'm thinking of conducting a different presentation for each command, each important command at least. So one command I'm going to explain here is dot hh. Let's see a demo with that. So I have opened an executable in the debugger and dot hh I'm going to type in the command window now I got the help so this contains help for all the other commands so if you go to debugger reference you can see debugger commands so these are the meta commands so you can see all the meta commands here which start with a dot and uh, you can see the native commands here so there are tons of commands hundreds of commands are there and uh, finally you have extension commands so general extension commands this is going to be the single most important help file you're going to be referring to although it is not very well documented in most cases we don't have any other options so in the list which I have mentioned there is one command people use WinDebug for bang analyze hyphen v so this command is used for mostly dump analysis when we discuss dump analysis or postmortem debugging we'll be dealing with this particular command at the moment we are trying to delve into the internal self windows so we won't be using this particular command Microsoft has added a, a recent addition to the way commands behaves or the usability of commands called DML let's see a quick demo for DML DML stands for debugger markup language So. 
K capital M. It's a version of call stack command, K command. It is an example of DML. As you can see, this blue letters are kind of links. So if you hover the mouse, you can see the command it is going to execute if you're going to click on it. So your mouse icon has changed, just like in the case of a web browser. So bottom you can see dot frame 0 n 0. So dot frame 0 dv slash t slash v. That is a command it is going to execute if I am going to click on that particular link. So we had a discussion about debugger commands although we have not discussed any command other than dot hh in particular. So we have seen the help file for the commands which has all the commands present almost all the commands and that's it thank you very much